I got the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra at the Honor Magic 5 Pro with me. I'll be traveling to Pakistan and I'll be taking both phones with me, trying to document my journey while testing on both cameras side by side. I'll be flying with Emirates from Hamburg, Germany to Dubai and from there I'll take a flight with Fly Dubai to Faisalabad. I'll be also invited to a wedding there so I'll see how much I can capture there with both phones. Just let's get started. My journey began in Bremerhaven at the central station. While I was waiting for the train, I used the front-facing cameras on both phones to take selfies and portrait mode. Both phones did a good job of separating me from the background, but the Honor Magic 5 Pro handled the lighting on my face better. I'm just taking the train from Bremerhaven to Bremen. My destination is Hamburg, we have a picture plane to Dubai. After switching trains and taking the subway, I finally reached the airport in Hamburg. While waiting to board, I took advantage of the zoom capabilities of the phones, ranging from 1x to 3x and finally 10x on both worlds. Following a somewhat chaotic boarding process, I settled into my seat in the middle row, which unfortunately prevented me from capturing the takeoff on camera. I then decided to browse Emirates in-flight entertainment program and watch A Man Called Otto. I had previously seen the original version of this movie and I can highly recommend both of them. Luckily, this flight offered charging options, so I used the 66 watts charger, which came with Honor Magic 5 Pro, to juice up my devices. After capturing a selfie, it was already time for a meal. The options available were beef and chicken, but there are also various choices to make during online check-in. I picked beef and what can I say? I have had better food on board before, but as I say in Germany, der Hunger treibt's rein. However, the couscous salad was quite enjoyable and the dessert and orange cream delice was really delicious. Following the meal, the aircraft's lighting was lower, creating a dim atmosphere. Emirates has installed small LED lights on the ceiling to resemble stars. The Honor device was unable to accurately capture this feature. I then tried to kill some more time with another movie, but I didn't have enough time anyway, so I just watched some sports. The popcorn was tasty anyway. And then we finally landed and I had more than 5 hours to spare. It's not fun if you travel alone. I just walked around randomly to not fall asleep and took a few pictures. You can see that the white balance is way warm on the honor, creating a more pleasing picture. I got hungry and decided to get myself a large McArava menu from McDonald's. It cost me around 11 euros. My time to depart to Faisalabad came near and then we took a shuttle bus from the terminal to finally get on the plane. This time, I had a window seat and took the chance to snap a picture of the rising sun. The S23 Ultra is over sharpening the scene, creating a lot of noise in the process. And then it was time to take to the skies and take off from Dubai. Even though it's not as stunning as when you see it at night, it's still quite a beautiful sight. Roughly three hours later and I finally arrived at Faisalabad. No one from my relatives knew that I was coming, so I went to a hotel first. I arrived this morning at Faisalabad, I took already some rest and just wanted to show to you the hotel where I stay in. It's a West Inn Hotel in Faisalabad. So take a look together. In the TV or some local channels. The AC, which is not really cooling that well, unfortunately. Beautiful big bed. Here you have microwave. Can make some tea. 
of the mini bar, which is empty, except of the water bottle, which I brought in myself. Here you have the cupboard for the Corona Park, got the prayer mat, and some stuff to hang here. This is, this is my dress, which was pressed by the room service already. Here we have menu. And then there's the bathroom. And the shower. And I got a balcony as well. Not the greatest view, but it is a view. I got a club sandwich with fries and some drinks for around 4 euro 50 and then took some pictures from the room and the view from my balcony here which is simply breathtaking you're breathtaking in this scene both phones struggle with the light in the back overexposing my face after this i decided to check out the gym of the hotel it was quite bare bones, but got the job done. After this, I got ready and went to the wedding. First, there was this Mandy celebration. The next morning, I had parata with egg. No staying at my relative's home. It was time for the second day of the wedding, or Barat as it's called here. I won't be showing any faces here as it was requested this way, but the food will be shown in all its beauty. We got some chicken biryani with kebab, Russian salad and naan bread. At moments like this, I sometimes just use one phone, so we can't compare them here unfortunately. And here just a quick view of the marriage hall. The next day I went out on motorbike with my cousin and saw these guys carrying something big on the motorbike. I was curious to find out what it was and afterwards I needed to reflect on this discovery for some time. That night my cousin brought me some pizza and a burger from a place called Acadian Pizza. The Honor Magic 5 Pro is taking the more appealing pictures of the food here. And then it was time for the Valima and the final day of the wedding. The wedding hall was really beautiful. Here I took some selfies with a Galaxy S3 Ultra taking the clear pictures in my eyes. The food on the Valima was really nice and the honor is also here capturing food in the more appealing way. The next night I went out with my cousins and we went to Domino's and got these two pizzas. After this I took the phones outside and took some low light shots. Overall I like the shot on the honor a bit more. The light sign for example is better captured. The next picture the difference are getting more apparent. Since the honor is taking easily the better picture here. The S23 Ultra brightens the scene too much in my eyes. The honor creates a really good night shot. The S23 Ultra is also losing details like on the light side. Surprisingly, even while using the zoom, the Honor is still doing a better job. At 10x, Zamdok is trying to over sharpen too much, resulting in a lot of noise. The next day, I visited the area around the clock tower. I 
I'm entering the Kacheri Bazaar area, recording in 4K and 30 frames per second. Testing the Honor Magic 5 Pro and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So I'm walking on the bazaar here now. The place is filled with phone shots, all kind of tech stuff here. So this is the famous clock tower of Hasselbad. A good spot to zoom in from 1x to 3x and finally all up to 10x. And now I'm right in front of the clock tower in Hasselbad. Recording 60 frames per second. And while we are here, a selfie, where the honor is capturing the colors better in my eyes. Not getting me out of the view, let's take a picture with the main lens, where once again the colors of the honor are more accurate in my eyes. Let's follow up with the ultra wide. Here both phones are doing an equally good job. After this I got a cold and tasty lassi, a yogurt drink, which was really refreshing. Since we were getting hungry, I decided to get some fish from a place called Jalanda. We got some freshly fried fish, served with naan bread and imli chow. Things fried with grilled fish. This little fella tried to get on the video, so I took a portrait. I think the S23 Ultra is creating the better picture here. Oh, 
And another picture of me in front of the clock tower, this time using the portrait mode. A common sight in this bazaar is this crazy array of motorbikes. Using the ultra wide angle gives you a nice view of it. <laughs> After this, we left this area and my two pals got us some milkshake while I was waiting in the car to take some selfies. Without and with the portrait mode enabled, Samsung is doing a way better job. And here is the milkshake I mentioned before from Saria Seppenbite. It was really tasty. And at last, I walked around in this neighborhood here, testing both phones at night. Unfortunately, the videos shot on the Honor Magic 5 Pro here were all corrupted. Thus, the first few seconds were usable. I think both phones are doing a decent job recording at night. Both struggle under the same issues, like a jelly effect or a lot of noise. But I have seen Android phones perform way worse with video, especially at night. I'm recording at night now in 4K, 30 frames per second. I'm on a silent road in a colony here in Faisalabad. It is now past midnight. So now I'm using the front facing cameras, recording at 4K with 30 frames per second. Still in a very dark road, walking up towards the light pole.
Now let's compare some pictures at night. This snap was a standard mode to create a way better picture on the S23 Ultra. Here I took two pictures of me. The first one was out of night mode and the second one was night mode enabled. While the Samsung isn't that much different, the Honor Magic 5 Pro gets quite a better picture and more details using the night mode. For example, seen on the window up here. Here using the night mode on these sunflowers, both are capturing a good picture, while the S23 Ultra is a little bit brighter. But brighter doesn't always mean better. Comparing these pictures on this playground here, the Honor Magic 5 Pro is taking just a better picture in my eyes. And then it was already time for me to leave Faisalabad again. Just a short clip from my way back to the airport and more importantly, a selfie with these two fine gentlemen who aided me a lot during my stay here. Shout out to Hamza and Adil for being real bros, see you hopefully soon. After having a really stressful check-in at the Faisalabad airport with Fly Dubai, I got this burger and fries with a drink for 800 Pakistani rupees. There were like 7 fries inside, but who counts them anyway? After having just like 90 minutes between flights and rushing between the terminals, I just arrived in time for boarding my plane to Hamburg. This time around I had a window seat and so I was able to capture my departure from Dubai. was even worse this time around. I got some beef stroganoff, this time I should have taken the chicken I guess. The dessert and salad were good though and some 6 hours later I was back in Germany. So that was my comparison of the S23 Ultra and the Honor Magic 5 Pro. I really enjoyed my time in Pakistan. It was a short but memorable trip for me. I met a lot of nice people like I always do in Pakistan. And I hope I was able to bring you a unique camera comparison. Do you prefer the normal camera comparisons like I've done before? And more importantly, which tone do you think comes out on top? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like my camera comparison of those two phones and will hopefully see you again in one of the upcoming videos. Take care.